Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about solving multi-step equations. I'm going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, negative 16 plus a 5n is equal to a negative 7 times negative 6 plus 8n plus a3. Okay, so... What I want to do here is I want to simplify on either side of the equation first. The left-hand side, nothing I can simplify, so I'm going to bring that down. Negative 16 plus 5n. Put a 5 there first. Negative 5n. I'm going to distribute this negative 7 across to both parts of the parentheses. Negative 7 times a negative 6 is a positive 42. And negative, uh, uh, negative 7 times a positive 8 is a negative 56n. 8n right there. Okay? And then we add a 3 on the side. From there, from there, I can combine my like terms again on each side. 42 and a 3 I'm going to combine. So we bring down the negative 16 plus 5m. And 42 plus 3 is a 45 minus 56m. Okay, so now it's up to you where you want to go with this. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to bring my variables to the left here. I'm going to add a 56m. Both sides, and I'm going to add a 16 of both sides. This way, we keep everything positive, and my variable is already on my left. 5n plus 56n comes out to be a oh, 61, 61, yeah, 61, n, and that's equal to 45 plus 16, which is also a 61. Funny how that happens, right? 61n equals 61. I then have to get n by itself, so I divide by 61 to both sides. That leaves me with n isolated. 61 divided by 61 is just 1. And there we go. Our final answer here is just n equals 1. So let's recap. We're given negative 16 plus 5n equals negative 7 times the parentheses and negative 6 plus 8n plus 3. I want to simplify on each side of the equal sign, so I distribute the negative 7 across both parts, giving me 42 minus 56n. I then combine the 42 and the 3 to get 45. At that point, both sides of the equal sign uh, had no like terms on uh, each side, on its own side, that I could combine, so I had to bring um, all the variables to the left and the numbers to the right. That gave me a 61n on the left and a positive 61 again on the right. I then got n by itself by divided by 61 and got uh, to both sides. I got n here is equal to 1, and that is our final answer.